This one, I think I've told maybe three people ever. I cringe at it every chance I get. And um, when I was 17, there was this fan series on YouTube uh, about these uh, guys that play... Uh, yeah, I was. I, I should probably describe something about me in high school. I was a nerd, and I'm still a nerd. I mean, look right there. There's some freaking action figures. They're my mom calls them dolls. They're wrestling dolls, but they're action figures. Dang it! I know there's some female ones, and you might call those dolls, but they are mostly males. Okay, and there's Beavis and Butthead over there. Beavis is on the ground, and there's the NES. First ever wrestling video game, even though I don't have an NES I can play it. I have it because I wanted it, damn it. Oh, and there's a bear. I mean a dog. But you get what I'm saying. Oh, and there are my teeth. Uh, before braces. But my point of the matter is, I was a nerd. Like, I was still playing fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, there, I said it. Now, now that I said that, let me bring up something crazy to y'all. There was this... YouTube show series that is a little bit darker than the actual show. It's a fan-made project and they had a contest. Uh, not a contest. They had, like, if you like like their page on Facebook and, like, post a picture, they'll put you into their show uh, in the background. And I did that and I said, my character needs a backstory. So I made a short fan, fan film of a fan film and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's embarrassing because not only am I the only person in it, I'm recording in my old room. I'm recording in my old room in Ohio Street. And it's like 11.30 at night. Everyone else is asleep, so nobody could bother me. But here's the problem. I can't really be loud. This part, I'm not so cringe about. I'm more cringe about I should be because the production value was absolutely trash. I played both characters, so I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with myself. One character's evil, the other character's not. Jesus Christ, I really absolutely regret this. I regret this with all my heart. Okay. So. I'm going to describe the production. I don't have, I have I'm using my... A uh, very cheap laptop webcam, which is worse than this one. I wear a hoodie disguising my face uh, as the evil character. The good character is me wearing a red shirt. Yeah. Uh, and I had my other character holds a gun. I know, right? Like, because yeah. he's like the guy that wearing the hood comes in. He's like. Yeah, I'm here to challenge you. And, like, the other character's like, No, you're not! And, like, I have a gun. But it's, like, a Cabela's gun, because that's the only thing I had at the time. <clears throat> because my stepbrother got a Cabela's Hunter on the Wii, and it came with, like, this shotgun. And, like, I even cocked it. <laughs> All this in a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan film, by the way. And then, like, and then, like, it, because this gun collapses... If you press a certain switch on it, and like I try to hide that because the other character has magical powers. <laughs> this is awful, y'all. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Um, I'm so glad this was made right before the cringe compilation happened because it 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 belongs on one of those, and it just falls apart. And you can see the Cabela's logo. I think I did try to hide the Cabela's logo. I don't remember. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more why I don't remember here in a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but, like, there are different camera cuts. You might be asking, Dennis, if you play two times, if you play two characters, you don't ever see those two characters on screen at the same time. You don't have, like, I, I was working with very basic Windows Movie Media Maker. Like, I'm on... Like, nowadays, I would probably have it be like this. I'd be like, who are you? And then, like, well, I would 
do like have a split right down the middle of the split middle down of the screen and be like have one video of me going who are you and then on the other end I'd be like I'm you but in a different frame you know basically that if I ever had a chance uh, to do that now I now that this is like before a lot of the easier media tools became free or very very cheap but even then y'all already heard I could have probably went to the Dollar Tree and bought a one dollar pop gun that looked a lot more realistic than uh, a Cabela's gun orange shotgun for my Yu-Gi-Oh! fan film made by a 17 year old that is pathetic by the way Um, but, like, what is really funny to me, and I remember this, uh, to stop a shot, I would have to go hit the, you would see my hand go stop the uh, clip, and I only had the, uh, I only cared about cutting that part out, like, on a few of the clips. So, most of the time, you see me go, this is my line. I will accept your challenge. Click. <laughs> it was so awful. No, seriously, it really was awful. <laughs> like, I'm sitting back and just like thinking about how lazy I was in production. And I'm still kind of a little lazy, but now I do care just a little bit more. To do things beyond just one take. Hello? Oh, hey, Damani, how are you doing? Whew! I apologize about that. Right, that's just coincidental. Um, I have an appointment. Uh, but I have enough time, by the way. Uh, that was just an appointment. Um, doctor's appointment for a, uh, scheduled tele... What is it called? Mental health. Anyway, I'm talking about basically how my uh, Steven Spielberg. Okay, Tommy was so. Okay. Uh, yeah, below that. Even further below Tommy was so. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, so basically, uh, it, let me tell you something else that's embarrassing. I knew immediately to just, like, I put it up. Just to show the guys who created the web series because they were a very small web series, a small audience, just to get recognized by them. And they liked it, but they said, you know, there's some there's some flaws. And I'm sitting back going, yeah. And then I'm sitting back thinking, you know, this is embarrassing. I don't want anybody from school to see this or ever know that I did this. Uh, like when I'm 25, sitting back thinking about how stupid I was as a... 17 year old or okay to be fair i was not 17 yeah i was 16 so i immediately like deleted it off of youtube so uh yeah if y'all wanted to see that um it doesn't exist anymore in any form except for this so i uh invaded that for uh let's see that's 2012 i'm 25 that was 16 17 i avoided that for over eight years and now i bring it up so, yeah, that was that. That is the most embarrassing, cringe-worthy performance I've ever given. Uh, yeah, and that was my last time performing in front of an audience, right? Well, before college, I mean. Well, yeah, kinda. Um, there is one performance, and it comes back to me for a moment. Uh, there is a uh, play that... Um, well, not play, but it was a short, like, presentation we had to give. I think we had to come up with, like, our own, like, short plays for 12th grade. Because we were reading the Canterbury Tales, and we were told to kind of tell, like, this very short uh, play. Um, yeah, by the way, yeah, we read Canterbury Tales in uh, 12th grade. Our 12th grade teacher was hard on us, but I do agree with some of the... Things she did, she made us read Beowulf 
to the best of our abilities. And the Canterbury Tales, which are very uh, difficult. Now, I will say, like Beowulf, uh, for those of you who know, Beowulf is like the one of the oldest written English language stories out there. Uh, it's a really interesting, like, I think it's more interesting knowing the history of the actual piece than the actual piece itself. Not knocking four, five hundred A uh, B C E A D uh, uh, <coughs> writers because we don't know who really wrote it, or I want to say we don't really know who wrote it, but uh, anyway, off topic. We, I remember this. I, I, this is actually starting to just come back to my head now. I was originally going to end it right here, but uh, I remember because this was sort of an interesting, like, sort of thought in my head about acting. Like, you know, this isn't so bad memorizing a script and performing it in front of just my teacher. We didn't perform it in front of, like, an audience. We just performed it in front of our teacher on our school's main stage. Uh, yeah, our high school had a main stage. We never did plays. We only did one thing a year besides graduation. We did, uh, what was it? Uh, Christmas lights. It was a Christmas show. And, yeah, we would see it. And I I remember a lot of people cutting during that, especially towards the end of the uh, year. But, I mean, I thought it was cool. I don't know. It got us out of class for a little while. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that was pretty much it for, uh, before college. So, BC, before college. Wow. 38 minutes, huh? So, um, I open up with some advice. I'm probably going to put that stuff towards the back. And, uh, I do want to kind of write out a script for these. Because uh, just going off the top of my head could be kind of difficult, though. At the same time, writing a script is also sort of like writing off the top of my head. But uh, being more familiar with what I wanted to say probably is a lot brighter. I don't know. What do y'all think? I want y'all to comment down below on the Facebook video, YouTube video. Uh, I might want to do these live. Um, because... It's a lot easier to just uh, do these live on Facebook and then later uploading them somewhere else or doing them live on YouTube or Twitch. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in this take. Yeah, I took three takes of this, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> I want to put this on Spotify uh, somehow, some way. Uh, if it's at all possible, um, which, fair enough. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be entirely possible. I don't know if, I know with iTunes, with uh, podcasts, you get like 128 gigs for free, and then you got to pay like 200 bucks for each, I think, 100 gigs, which uh, does take up a lot of time or space. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe. Um like I said, if you want to download this, I can provide a YouTube to MP3 down, or maybe an MP3 download link or something that will uh, make make it easier. Uh, I'm more than willing to hook up anybody with that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I uh, apologize for a week late. I had to get a webcam, and in these trying times, folks, it's hard enough to get any kind of technology without it being locked behind a case and uh, having social anxiety like mine. You don't want to bug any uh, employee right now to get a... Uh, 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 have y'all ever had those problems before? Yeah. I know, I know, I know I'm not the only one. But, uh, yeah. Uh, at the very least, my mouth noises hopefully give you proper ASMR. If you guys uh, want any recommendations for me in terms of recording equipment, uh, I have, I have a, I can't show you at all. I have a, I don't know. Oh, it's still on. I have a Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, these are 45 bucks. These are the budget microphones. 
Uh, I'm going to talk about voiceover next time or maybe a future episode uh, when I talk about my voiceover performances. But next episode is going to be talking about my acting one and my uh, uh, my monologues before because those came first before showcases. I then we'll get into the juicy, 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 juicy stuff. Um, I'm also, by the way, I use a Logitech C270. I think that's the name of it. I threw away the box, so I don't know the name of it, but it's a, it's a decent webcam. It's also, once again, a budget webcam. Uh, perfect for just using for Let's Plays, which I am going to start doing a little bit more of. I know it's crazy to think, man. I'm 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 in the future, man. It's 2020, man. It's crazy. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, speaking of video games, I want to play some video games. Uh, anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the future. Remember, stay safe.